Uh, morning, my name's Simon Bott and I'm the head teacher here at Black Horse Primary School. Uh, just going to talk you through the COVID uh, safety measures that we've got here, uh, which keep, keep everyone safe and will keep everyone safe when they come back on the 8th of March. So we're going to start at the front. Um, now, lots of schools are doing this. We have um, something called uh, um, fogging which uh, we do about every six weeks, have done since this all started, where they basically put some chemical agents. So every six weeks they come in and they, they squirt sort of, uh, sort of fog stuff around and it, it kills any nasties. When we go into this building, we have to put our masks on. Uh, we don't have anybody in the building without masks. Um, we don't actually have any visitors in uh, at the moment at all. Uh, only people who, um, uh, who, are, who are working in school can come in. So we keep the numbers down as far as possible. Parents only allowed here. Anyone who does come in has to do the, the track and trace uh, app. Uh, on the way in so that we know who, who they are. Um, okay, once we go into the main building, um, lots of things have been um, removed, so all of the extra, so give us extra space on the corridors and things so that people can be separated. Um, we've got um, spots on the floor to remind staff, they're really to remind the staff to be honest, to keep, um, to keep apart from each other. The main, the main issue is actually the grown-ups staying away from each other. Uh, the children aren't actually, um, A, that contagious, um, uh, and they're in very particular areas. It's, it, the problem is really with, with grown-ups um, getting together. So we ask the parents, they all have to social distance on the playgrounds, they all have spots to stand on, they all understand how that works now. They're kept back from the classroom doors. Um, to be honest, this is no different from how things were in, Dece in, in, in December and how we did things in terms one and two. So it's really returning to that, to be honest. Right, we'll take a, a wander down to reception. So with the younger children, um, they're, they're all in bubbles, all the classes in bubbles, exactly as we were before Christmas. Um, the younger children, we, uh, we don't put them into to face forward desks um, because it just wouldn't work. Um, so this is a reception class. What we have done is taken a lot of the stuff out to create more space. Um, some of the, uh, the resources have been kind of put away and we do, we do quarantine things for 48 hours if the children have been using particular resources. Same with PE equipment, so that anything that's, uh, that's on it um, doesn't, can't do any harm. Uh, so this is, how, this is how our younger class looks. So obviously the main thing is about ventilating the classrooms. Um, we know that that has the biggest impact on reducing the kind of spread of the virus. So uh, that's done in two ways. Um, depending on what the weather's like and how cold it is outside. Um, during break times when the children aren't here, like now, uh, doors and windows will be open to swap the air over every kind of hour and a half, you know, with proper ventilation and, you know, doors wide open. Um, if, if the children are in uh, and it's not too cold, the teachers will just have the windows open a little bit, um, which just constantly trickles the air through. Um, if we, with that and having the doors open onto the corridor, it creates kind of through flow of air. Um, you know, so they should, we, we talk back to the staff, you should feel a bit of a breeze walking down the corridor. Uh, and if you do that, then you know that the, the ventilation is working okay. Okay, so Key Stage 2 classroom, um, these are the older children. As you can see, they're all sat in rows facing forward. Um, that's the standard sort of setup for all schools. Um, once, they, once they get a bit older, um, that'll be the same in secondary schools as well. They have a set place um, so that we, we know who's sat next to who all the time. And if we have to talk to public health about uh, any cases, they know who's been sat near them. Um, they have all their own equipment, their own pencil case. So they're not sharing any equipment. Uh, and the teachers do wipe down the desks and things uh, after every lesson. Um, the children don't need to wear masks in school um, because, they, uh, because they're all in the same bubble. Um, we didn't feel they needed to, but staff, if they're working close to a, a child, will, will wear the mask, but the teacher, the teacher doesn't tend to have their mask in on during the lesson. Uh, the teacher will stay at the front during the lesson, so they're not mingling with the children. Uh, so again, that keeps that distance with the adults. Um, the teachers themselves, they have, uh, they're tested twice a week um, with lateral flow tests, little kits that you get at home, a bit like a little pregnancy test. They're really easy to do, uh, give an answer in about half an hour, and they, uh, yeah, they do those on a Sunday night and a Wednesday night, so we know at two points in the week whether we've got any cases. And we, we have had one asymptomatic case of a member of staff felt absolutely fine, but did have COVID. So it did mean that that person wasn't wandering around the school, whereas in uh, normal times before that, we would, they would have been wandering around, we wouldn't know about it. So that was a little tour of Black Horse Primary School to show what we're doing to keep the children safe uh, with our COVID security. It's what most schools are doing, to be honest. And the thing to remember is schools have actually been open all the way through. We've had 150 children here every day uh, since Christmas. Uh, so it is a really safe, safe environment. You know, the staff have been here all the time. We know how safe it is. Um, we expect all the children back on the 8th. The parents are desperate to get the children back. The children are desperate to come back. Um, so uh, honestly, if you're th having doubts about whether it's safe, I can absolutely promise you uh, your child will be in safe hands coming back to school.